Hey guys, this is Rob. I'm with School of Uke.Rocks. You guys have seen the channel. I've got just a couple of little videos on there, but today I wanted to talk about something that was important for all of us called noodling. Just like arpeggios and kicking. And if you are a new, if you're a new guitarist or whatever, and you're learning your open chords, you know, your cowboy chords, you know, all that other stuff, then this will be very helpful for you. Now, uh, I'm using today a Cordoba Mini Spalted Maple. And so the reason that that's important is that when I play my C, if you're playing along with me, you'll notice your C sounds way different. That's because this is tuned up uh, to the tuning of, uh, this is A, A tuning. Uh, it's up a fifth, very much like a ukulele. In fact, uh, it's A, D, G, C, E, A. So that's what we've got. And if you notice, G, C, E, A are the strings you would find on a ukulele. Except we've got a low uh, G right here instead of that high G. Okay, so it's very important to know that. Um, the one thing about the Cordoba Mini is that if you're a tenor, kind of like my voice, and if you're trying to sing songs <laughs> and sing along with songs and, and really kind of work that into your um, repertoire, I would suggest starting early and just doing it. You know, it's gonna be difficult at first until it kind of kicks in for you. But this tuning right here, this higher tuning allows a tenor voice, if you're a male, to kind of find a different niche in the song itself, and find a different melody. So if playing and singing, you know, your G, C, E, A, or C, A minor, F, and G uh, is a little tough, and you don't want to do like E, C sharp minor, A, and B, um, you can move up to a different instrument or a different tuning, and that can help you find a, a place for your voice. And the only thing that I'm saying about that for you is that it just gives you options. But let's talk about noodling today. And that's important because when you think about your strumming and everything, that's really where the emphasis and the variety comes in in, in music and playing. So I'm going to kind of move a little closer. I want you to be able to see my hands and everything. Uh, so first of all, you're going to want to hold the guitar in such a way that your wrist can move nice and freely. Because this is such a smaller guitar, my hand would normally fall right over the sound hole here. But because when I hold and pinch my elbow in here, on this guitar it's a lot smaller, you get a much more mellow sound. Listen to it. The attack on the note is different. Okay, it has a more harp-like sound, and that's, that's pretty cool if you ask me. Anyway, we're just doing G chord, and I'm going to call the chords the same name that they would be called on a regular full-size guitar, but uh, they're actually one-fifth up, so something like a C would really be an F uh, as it goes through. However, that's not important for now. We're just talking about shapes, okay? So let's think about our C, excuse me, our C, A minor, F. Those are nice chords, and you'll find a lot of that chord, that kind of melody, uh, throughout the 50s and 60s, in Unchained Melody and things like that, uh, all have this song. In fact, C, A minor, F, and G, C, A, G, E, D, those chords can really play any song because you can transpose a, a music to, to any key that you'd like. But for you, what does that mean? So if we're doing C, think about having your fingers on here and just an arpeggio, just picking notes out of a chord. So we're just going to move. Okay, so all I'm doing here is just picking the root note first. That's all I'm doing. So if the first thing, the first tip about noodling is start with your root note and then just pick. I'm going to not use my other fingers. I just want you to see. Okay. Going slow. 
slow here so you can kind of see what my fingers are doing. I'm just going for my C here. I'm gonna go to my A minor. I'm gonna go to my F. I'm gonna go to my G. That's really all we're trying to do here. Just start with your root note and play. It doesn't matter if it could be a D, to a G, to an E minor, to a G. All we're doing is starting with our root note. And this will be how you'll begin to build up your noodling skills. Noodling just kind of picking out notes. And at some point in time, point in time you'll just be able to pick out little patterns and it helps to understand that a lot of this works because we're on a, a, a nice scale you know so that was our C scale and what you'll find out is that um, a lot of your a lot of your melodies and everything will be on your C scale or, or whatever scale that you want so even when we're even when we're here It just makes it easier for you. That's all. So go ahead and try that out. Just pick all you got to do once again. I'm telling you because it, it sounds too easy to be true, but you're just going to start by starting with your root note, whatever you want it to be, and then just going to noodle it. pick it and play around with that. Guys, I hope this was helpful. I'm Robert Hand with School of You.rocks. Catch you on the flip side.